this is just very exciting for the department to finally have a new state-of-the-art facility. St. John's County is opening a new multi-million dollar utilities lab at 3930 Inman Road in St. Augustine. Amy Cherry has more on our top story. Megan Whitlock, County Public Affairs Specialist, says you can come check it out at a ribbon cutting and open house today. The event is going to go from 930 to 12. We're going to have the ribbon cutting and speakers right at 930 though, but the tours will go up until noon for the public for anyone who wants to come see this lab. You know, most people don't know what a utilities lab is, but it's actually where we test all of the water that comes in from across the county to make sure it's safe to be drinking. Here's who's attending. District 5 Commissioner Henry Dean. It's in his district, so he will be there talking about how exciting that is for them. Neil Shrink, uh, the interim director of St. John's County Utility Department, and then Tony Cubage, who is our environmental division manager. Whitlock says their old utilities lab was in a flood zone. The old one was on Anastasia Island, so the department has been saving up money for a while in their budget now to finally get this. It will allow it to operate for 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and it won't be in impacted by severe weather events in the past. They were having to evacuate the utilities lab, take it to where it wasn't in a flood zone, and then have to reload it back. So it's very exciting to have a facility that's not going to be in a flood zone. The $4.6 million state-of-the-art utilities lab includes nearly 6,800 square feet of space, a backup generator for continuous power, corrosion-resistant cabinets and countertops, and lab sinks with deionized water on tap. The site is also set up for future expansion to the south. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of your hometown Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. Downtown traffic will be A-OK during nights of light. Reassuring words from Jacob Pickering of FDOT. Liz Ryan reports. Installation of a new drainage pipe was enough to cause some traffic headaches, but throw the discovery of a shipwreck into the mix, and that could lead to some bad traffic problems downtown. But here's the good news. The project will be history just in time for Nights of Lights. The Florida Department of Transportation has been working really hard with our contractors here at this job on the King Street drainage project on King Street at State Road A1A. We've had weekday detours going out through the past month or so trying to get this new drainage pipe under the roadway. Of course, as you remember, we found a shipwreck right underneath the roadway, and that kind of delayed us by at least two weeks. But luckily, we're finally being able to pick up those weekday detours. The whole roadway will be open this week, especially right there at the corner of King Street and State Road A1A for the opening of Nights of Lights. Which, by the way, is Saturday. With the flick of a switch, our ancient city will once again come alive with millions of little white lights. There'll be a lighting ceremony, live music, and special guest speakers. Stay tuned in to Beach 1055 all week long for more information about Light Up Night. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Liz Ryan. Time to lace up for the 12th annual Santa Suits on the Loose. Sign-ups are underway to secure your spot in the 12th annual Santa Suits on the Loose 5K, happening Saturday, December 9th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. at St. Augustine Beach. Lauren Peterson of St. Augustine Youth Services. Such a fun holiday time. If you're a runner, you can run it. If you're not a runner, you can still come out and walk it, jog it, push a stroller, bring a dog if they're friendly. Santa and Mrs. Claus will be there. The Grinch will be there trying to stop the fun. We'll have music and all sorts of uh, fun things going on. The cost to sign up now through December 8th is $35. On the day of the race, December 9th, the cost is $40. The sooner you sign up, the better. All of the our events can be found at org slash events, and that's where you can find out more about them. Again, the website for signups and more information is sayskids.org. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. And now you're up to date with St. Augustine's Local Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.